I work in artist development in England and my work involves trying to find collaborations for artists, particularly artists who want to develop new territories. So rather than looking at where artists are looking to to develop new markets rather than expecting them to just book shows and try and make them work. I try and find collaborations where they can tour with somebody else from the domestic market. So rather than playing to nobody, they've got a guaranteed audience of 50 to 100. So they've got a chance of at least making some money and building some, some stepping stones that they can use if they want to revisit the market, really. Yeah. So that, I think that's why I'm here. And it's a, a festival that's world renowned, so it's obviously great to come out and see a festival this good working at the top of its game. And Rosa have brought in delegates from across the world, so it's always a privilege to be amongst your peers and to talk and to be able to just exchange ideas in a stress free environment because we don't get many opportunities to do that. So, so when the invitation comes to an event like this, and they, we get invited to festivals and events all over the world you're looking at the quality of the delegate list the quality of the artists who are playing and it's just because it's ultimately traveling abroad is four or five days out of your working life so it has to it has to not necessarily work financially but sometimes you're playing a longer game where you're sowing the seeds with artists or with other professionals in our world for work that might take two three four years uh, and it really is about just reinforcing your position within that and just staying friends with everybody and you know it's a small world and it's nice to be able to to get together with those and it's even nicer to do it in, a, in an environment that is just all about the music. I've been fortunate enough to over the years come out to a couple of events in Denmark. I came to the two Womexes that were here and I went I went to Folklam in Oslo a few years ago. So while the music is not unfamiliar to me, it's not all of it is directly translatable to UK audiences. So you're trying to find the acts that that you think could work domestically, or that you think you might be able to present and and develop a market for. There were three trios of girls who were all doing all vocalists and various instrumentation. That is something that feels quite familiar and has a direct correlation relationship to the UK. There are bands doing very similar things in slightly different approaches. Uh, so that felt familiar but different, which is quite nice. That was, a, that was nice to hear a different presentation of things. I, the final band who played this evening, can't remember their name? I don't Ilmer, Ilmer Hoffman. Uh, th for me, that was a band that I felt was the right mixture of ability, presentation, melody. I just thought I thought that would have landed really well with not just UK audiences, but that felt like it was internationally sellable and would have sat well with any audience anywhere in the world. <laughs>